Hey guys, so it's been over a week since I last vlogged. Like the last time I vlogged was Saturday and now it's Tuesday. And I've, I've been wanting to pick up the camera so many times and to film a vlog, but I was, I also wanted the next time I made a video to be something different from the last few videos. I wanted to pick up the vid the camera and just be like, hey guys, I figured it out. My light bulb went on. I'm back on track. I lost some weight. Here's what I did. You can do it too. Um, that's what I wanted. I wanted to motivate you in my next video. And that's why I wasn't able to pick up the camera because I haven't made any progress, any difference. I'm still struggling and I did not want another video saying I'm depressed and down and struggling and sad about the weight gain, sad that I can see it in my cheeks and in my stomach, noticing the changes from my poor decisions of October, blah, 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 blah. I didn't want to annoy you and I feel like it sounded stupid to just have another video saying the same thing. Like, I wanted something new, something inspiring. And even though I'm so happy in my life, I talk about my journey, obviously, on my channel. And when, I, you know, I know that I wouldn't be able to hide that I'm really down about, really down and frustrated about how I'm just not getting back on track and I'm not being consistent enough to rectify, you know, the weight gain and, and the change the negative changes and stuff like that and get back to where I was and then move forward from there. So yeah, I didn't, that's why I didn't pick up the camera. That's why there, there hasn't been a recent vlog, but I have to remember that I'm still me. I, I made this channel and I made my Instagram specifically to document my journey and to have something to look back on like when I'm doing well or when I'm struggling I have something to look back on that's similar and see where my mind was at and see what I did and blah 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 and to keep me accountable and all that so I even though I want to I want a video that will motivate you guys and not be just so Debbie Downer I still have to remember that I made this channel specifically to help me, to help me talk things out and to get things off my chest and to figure things out. And so I have to just talk about it. And hopefully I don't annoy too many of you. Like, oh, here's, here Jen goes again, complaining that she's depressed about being off track. So just get on track, girl. I, I know, I'm so frustrated why I can't just, okay, you had your fun you ate whatever you wanted on your vacation, then you came back and continued to eat whatever you wanted, so enjoy, you enjoyed it? Yeah, was that good? Did you enjoy yourself? Okay, let's get back to business because now you're not happy. Now that food that you're eating isn't making you happy anymore. You're depressed about it because on my, on my honeymoon, I enjoyed every bite and I totally accepted the results of the food because I said this is my honeymoon I'm gonna enjoy it but now that I'm at a point where every bite of that food just comes with guilt then I should be at a point where I'm like okay well if the food isn't bringing you the pleasure you wanted so now get back on track so you can be happy with being healthy and losing weight that made you have that makes you happy so stop doing the thing that's making you unhappy now I can't figure out why I can't just do it again if I did it before. If I did it in May 2014, just got back on track and never fell off the wagon at any point in those two years, I was consistently making slow but steady progress. Why can't I do it now? But I guess it did take me 30 years to come to, to get that courage and to build that strength to do it. So, but... It's like, it's so close. I know, I know what I did. I can do it again. Why don't I have the motivation? But I mean, I think it's that 
before because I was really doing nothing, no exercise and all junk food, that the little changes I was making each week was making progress and I was seeing results. And every time I saw results, that would propel more motivation and me being positive and me being excited. The more results I saw, the better I did. And it would just keep going from there. And that's how I kept it consistent and I kept it going. Then throughout my journey, um, I would face junk food once a week for one meal. And that was just enough to allow me to enjoy my journey and enjoy my junk food, but not enough to throw me off balance and off track. So I really regret what I did on my honeymoon for that week because I should have known that as a binge eater and a food addict, I would not be able to handle that amount of food and that many days in a row off track. And I should have known because now I'm struggling so much to get back. And the more junk food I eat and the further away I'm getting from my journey and like the weight that I gain or the chubby cheeks that I'm seeing, it makes me sadder and more depressed and it makes me eat more. And it's just that cycle going downward rather than at the beginning the more, like the better I did, the more results I saw, the more motivated I was and the better I did and the cycle was going upward, well my cycle is going downward and I don't like that and I'm upset and I'm so frustrated, like I know exactly what to do. We all know exactly what to do and it's not about the physical things that we need to do. It's not about I know exactly what workouts I need to do. And it's not even workouts. I just know that I need to sweat. I need to sweat for 30 to 60 minutes a day. I know that. I know what healthy food is. I, I know fruits and vegetables and water. I know that. And it's not about, it's not about what I physically have to do. It's about what I mentally have to do. And that's where the hard work comes in, especially if you're prone to depression and anxiety like me and and then just battling against so many things like hypothyroidism and food addiction and binge eating, like I, I'm, I'm upset that I found my groove and I messed with it. And I've always said, like, I, I'm not strict on my journey. Um, I don't follow a meal plan or workout plans and I want to enjoy it. I just, this is not a diet. This is just a healthier lifestyle. And honestly, that's how I felt these, you know, the whole first two years. It's been great. It's, I've never felt deprived because I just found a groove. I found a balance, a perfect balance where I got to still enjoy the foods that I loved, but I, I'm in moderation and I'm frustrated that I I veered too far off and that it's taking me too long to get back. And the more I'm depressed about how long it's taking me to get back and the more I think about all the time that I've wasted, the more depressed I get and then the more I eat to feed that depression because the food makes me feel good for those two seconds. I'm frustrated that I I feel so weak right now. I'm frustrated that there's been several weeks in a row that I've felt that this is my week. I'm back this week because I do well Monday to Friday. And like this month I've been, well, this, the last I'd say two, three weeks, I felt like this is my week. And I've done well with my food and exercise Monday to Friday. Saturday, I'll plan my cheat meal. I'll, I'll do my one cheat meal, which has always helped me stay on track, not make me feel deprived. And what that one meal wasn't enough to ruin my week's progress. My consistent week was still 
better than that one meal. And so I found that balance. Um, but then, so I'll eat, I'll eat that one cheat meal on Saturday and then Sunday comes and I should be back on track Sunday. But for some reason, I'm continuing eating whatever I want, eating the junk food, giving into temptation. If it's sitting right there, I don't know how to say no. I'm walking right up to it. Like, okay, I'm talking about specific events. Um, so I'll just say it. On Saturday, we decided to have our cheat meal, which was some pho, which isn't a lot of calories, just high in sodium. And then we decided to have ice cream after since we knew that our cheat meal wasn't a lot of calories. So we had a great time and we walked around the mall a lot So while we were eating our ice cream. So I felt amazing with my cheat meal decision. Um, I felt, yay, I did this right. I did this correctly. It wasn't like an extra large pizza to myself. It was a little bowl of soup with rice noodles and veggies and then um, a cup of ice cream while I walked around a mall. Great, right? So that should have been it. And then Sunday I should have been right back on track and I should have felt great. And then I would have had another consistent week of eating healthy and the scale would have shown the results of my decision. But instead, Sunday I went to my dad's, although I ate a great healthy lunch, then there was chips sitting there and I should have just, I wish I was strong. I wish I just said no. Like I'm not gonna, I had my cheat meal yesterday. You want chips? You're feeling those chips? Those chips are calling your name? Okay, eat them next Saturday. That's what I was doing all those two years. Like that's what I was doing. When I already had my cheat meal, something else tempted me. I said, okay, I'm gonna have you next Saturday. And I waited. And that's what, that's how I found the perfect balance. That's what worked with my binge eating and my food addiction. And I was still able to lose weight. But lately, I'm just so frustrated that I feel so weak. And I looked at those chips and I'm like, just a couple, just a little handful. That's not a lot of calories. No, it's not. But Jen, when you have binge eating disorder, you know you're not just gonna have those three chips in your hand. You're gonna get back up and up. And so I had like the battle with myself and I was like, don't do it because you won't be able to stop after one. Nah, just one. It won't even hurt. It won't even be that many calories. Yeah, but you won't be able to stop. No, just one. And I'm walking to the coffee table to get the chips and I'm having this conversation and my body's just ignoring it. My body's like, la, 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 la. And I'm eating the chips with the best chips ever. It was like Miss Vicky's black pepper and lime. They were freaking delicious. So obviously I couldn't have just one. I wish they were just regular chips because I'm bored. Like regular chips don't interest me because it's boring, it has no flavor. So I went back and back and back and I kept lying to myself like I'm just getting a handful. I'm just getting like three chips. Well, Jen, if you add all those little handfuls that you had over the course of an hour, you ate an entire bowl of chips probably. And I was so down about that and so frustrated at that decision. And I came home just like so depressed, but I, I still tried to redeem my, I, I opened my fitness pal and I typed in like everything I had eaten that day. And like lunch was later. So even though it was dinner time when we had gotten home, I wasn't hungry for dinner. And I said, and I calculated all the, calories for everything I ate and I was really pleased that it wasn't over my calories and I said okay it wasn't the best it was still junk food but hey I didn't go over my calories so we're, we're there we're, we're okay if we're sitting there we were watching movies Jim and I at home and I said if I feel like I'm getting hungry I'll go have a glass of almond milk or I'll have a fruit or whatever I'm good I'm safe I'm in my calorie zone back on track tomorrow. I didn't ruin my weekend. I still just had the one cheat meal. Great. And Jim's like, hey, what are we having for dinner? Do you want to order a pizza? It came out so nonchalant with him. And I don't even think he realized that. And I just felt my heart sink into my stomach 
because I knew that I was, because I just felt so weak in that moment and I knew that I wasn't, I hadn't been consistent enough to be strong enough to say to him, no thank you, or ignore him, or convince him why that's not good, which I was able to do before in my journey. I could have said, we had our cheat meal yesterday. If you want pizza, we'll eat it next Saturday. I didn't even try to convince him not to. I didn't even try to convince myself not to. I didn't even say no even once. I just kind of sighed and picked up the phone. And I was like, I hadn't eaten the pizza yet. I could have stopped myself. But it was like I was so depressed that I know I can't explain it. It's like I was so depressed that I was so weak. So I just gave up before I even tried. And I just called for the pizza. And it wasn't even good. And I didn't even enjoy it. And that just made me even more sad. Like each bite I took, I'm like, it's not even good. So then you think, well, you ate one slice. It's not even that good. So why not stop and not eat anymore? So that you're still maybe only a couple of hundred calories over your goal for the day because you had the one slice it wasn't that good don't continue nope I kept saying to myself with every bite with every slice that it's not even that good I'm so depressed why like why am I doing this I'm um, 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 like what I can't even explain what that is that's just like that's just issues that's just an eating disorder and I'm just so frustrated. I know I have an eating disorder. I know it. I'm just frustrated that I figured out a way to deal with it and then I effed with it. I'm frustrated that I found a beautiful balance that I could be proud of and I screwed with it. That's what I'm frustrated at. And I'm frustrated right now that I'm making a video complaining and whining and this video really means nothing. It's this video isn't give, helping you guys in any way. It isn't giving you any solutions or, or, hey guys, this is what I did. That sucks, but this is what I'm going to do to rectify it. I, I'm just spewing out negativity and I don't, and that makes me so frustrated because I want to be positive and I want to get back on track and move forward. So if I want that, then why am I not doing that? And maybe I don't want it bad enough because anything you want, you can get. If you just, if you want it bad enough, you'll get it. Just, you just do it. It's so simple. Sweat a little each day, eat healthy foods, you'll get there. And for me, I found the perfect balance to even work better with my food addiction was like, okay, Jen, lose weight a little bit slower than the average person who wants to lose weight so that you can have one cheat meal a week. But just having that one cheat meal a week will still allow you to lose some weight, just a little bit slower. Isn't that, like, doesn't that sound good? Yes, I made the deal with myself, it's been great, I've been doing it, and then, I mean, this year I have not, like, okay, so 2016, I have not made any weight progress like I didn't lose any weight I kept losing and gaining the same few pounds but I still feel like I had progress because I was consistent with eating healthy and exercising and I felt probably the best I had ever felt because um, I really focused on eating healthy and um, focusing on my body and how each food made me feel and I would eat the food that gave me the most energy, was the best for my dige digestion, and just made me feel the best overall. And I felt the most healthy in 2016. So even though the scale wasn't going down, I was kind of finding what I liked and, and focusing on healthy foods. But I feel like these last few months have just completely ruined all that. And the last few months, 
you know, I just gained 10 pounds and then it even feels like bigger than 10 pounds. I just feel so different and so sluggish. And the more junk food I eat, the more I'm prone to depression because you get a high and then you crash and you, you, you feel very low. And so I don't really know what the point of this video is other than this is where I'm at. But I'm still like happy. I have, I, I'm confused. I have a ha happy life and I enjoy my life, but then there's just a big part of me that's missing because I feel not myself, like not like the Jen that I have gotten used to and that I really fell in love with these last few years. I feel disappointed in her and I feel ish ashamed that everybody who is inspired by me is maybe not going to be inspired by me anymore and I'm like oh I'm letting not only myself down but other people down and I think the more I think about that and the more pressure I put on myself the harder it is to get back because I'm just the type of person to feed my emotions and so if I feel down about anything I eat even if it's me feeling down about eating I'll eat because I feel down about it you know what I mean whoa that sounds crazy but it is that's what that's what that's what it is that's what goes on in my head and I hate it and as much as I feel like this might be useless to some people. I know that there are other people who feel the same way as I do. And so even if this video is just for the few of you to know that you're not alone. And even if just a few of you comment in the comments that you know what I'm going through and that you feel the same way, then you know what, this video is worth it. And that's okay. Yes, I know how to lose weight and yes, I have been successful, but sometimes like right now, I'm just, I need support and I'm not doing well. This was just, I guess me, like everything in here just came out of here unedited and I don't think anything I don't think there is any point to this. This, basically that's everything I'm thinking right now. And this is a frustrating time. And I'm frustrated that it's the holidays right now. Instead of enjoying, instead of being happy for the holidays and excited about the holidays, I'm like, okay, what food am I gonna face now till New Year's? How much more weight can I gain so that we can really build up that mountain? Like I'm being very negative and pessimistic. And I, when I started my journey back in 2014, that's what I had to change was my negativity and my doubt. And I had to, and because I couldn't feel positive for real, in my soul, like I wasn't feeling positive or happy and I didn't think I could do it, but I knew that that would hinder my progress. So I came up with the idea to fake it and I would be, pretend to be all gung ho and I would like search through Instagram and fitness sites and get all excited and fake positivity and you can do it and I can do it and we can do it. And yes, I'm gonna do this and I'm like fake the believing in myself until I actually did and it worked. So I got to do that now. I got to go back to basics, I guess. I got to, um, I got to stop screwing around. I got to do what I did at the beginning. And what I did at the beginning was track every day on my fitness pal because writing down my food really helped. What I have to do is fake positivity because I'm negative Nancy right now and I need to start getting positive and stop being so pessimistic and doubtful and everything and I just I have to I don't know it's hard for me because I don't know how to fake things and I wear my heart on my sleeve so I just got to try and be all positive so that 
I can start believing in myself again and, and doing things again. This is my journey and I'm documenting it. I lost 80 pounds. I gained 15. I lost five of those. And now I'm still here 10 pounds heavier, feeling negative and sluggish and um, depressed. And I'm eating my feelings and I'm gonna document my journey and try really hard to get back. I'm sorry if the next few videos are still me down, still me struggling. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I just know that I'm not gonna stop trying and I'm here for you guys and I hope you'll be there for me and I love you and I don't even know what this is, I guess, I don't know. I don't know guys, I love you. We'll see you in the next video.